Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. What the f is up? It has been... God. It hasn't been that long since we've actually uploaded a video, but it has been forever since we've even recorded. The last time we even, like, recorded footage was in June. June, what would you say, 10th, maybe? Yeah. Somewhere around there. Early June is when we recorded last, and it is mid August. Sonny, you're gonna be doing a lot of censoring this episode. Just a heads up. I haven't gotten my nut button in yet, but you know, we're working on it. $5.90 box, $5.50 the box itself, $40 for the shipping. You know how this goes. It's been forever since I've gotten even a box. Our last two recordings, the last box was before the Dallas Sneaker Con, and then the last video was the Dallas Sneaker Con recap. And we hit a thousand views on the last box, which is crazy. Thank you very much, but I'm gonna quit rambling. So we're just gonna get into the 590 box. If you don't know where this comes from, watch my other videos. Quick breakdown, it comes from Soul Supremacy. It is a sneaker consignment store in the Bay Area of California. Almost cut myself. It's been a while since I've done this. Really hope I'm not cutting some Lucy's. Shout out to Mo Buddhas. Every time I say the word Lucy's, I'm just gonna give a shout out to Mo Buddhas. All right, first impressions. 590 bucks. The last time I opened up a mid-range box was a 490 box, and I just sold, just sold, the last two pairs out of that. Finally, when did we even get that? April? Like yeah. April or March? Months. It's been a while. So, first sneaker I see is, looks to be the only Lucy we have. Oh, it's a Kobe. All right, I total, I saw that on the back and for some reason my mind slipped. Uh, beat to shit, looks like, not in the best condition. Kobe, I think this is the eight or nine, I think. Kobe's, looks like to be the cheetah print of some sort. Beat to shit. real bad, so we're not gonna spend too much time on those. All right, first impressions on boxes in here, I mean, seen better, seen worse. Couple Adidas boxes as I expected. Prediction for what's at the bottom of the box, I can't see. I would be surprised if there wasn't. 590 box, I could see them throwing me a cream. Cream easy because of the restock. I said that once before though, and I didn't get that, so we'll see. All right, first box, a size five NMD R2 women. So women's size five. Looks to be worn. God, these are tiny. Worn NMD R2. You always know it's the R2 because it actually has a tongue and the brick on this side's a lot bigger and it's in the name. Um, yeah, I, can't, I really can't spend too much, I really don't need to spend too much time on that. Put your palm out compared to a size yeah. five. So here's my 610 hands and here is a size five shoe. That is, is very tiny. Moving on, I shouldn't talk too much shit because there's women that there's some women out there that have tiny feet. If you have tiny feet, good on you. To each their own. Oh boy, there's gonna there's gonna be a lot of tiny shoes in this box. I feel like. Wait, never mind. Thought that was a C box. It's just a really big box in the bottom. Thought it was a children's box. On to the next one. Size seven Y. So yeah, might be some tiny shoes in here. Air Jordan Eleven. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Got the teal joints. Dead, what, nope. Nope, I almost said dead stock and then I saw that little tiny piece of dirt right there. But overall, like, great condition. They might, actually, it might just be dead stock and this is like tried on. It, Cause you can see some dirt. I'm not gonna sit here and pass it off as dead stock when it's obviously been worn a little bit. But you could pass it off as maybe just this shoe tried on. It is in immaculate condition. So, cra Adidas Crazy 2, size US 8. There better be some gold at the bottom of this box. Okay, all right. <sighs> crazy. Crazy, yeah, crazy. These are, I can't wait to look at these for the next 11 months, because <laughs> no one's gonna buy them. <laughs> They're dead stock, brand new. 
So that's a plus, if purple's your color. LeBron went to the Lakers. So uh, there's that, if you want to support LeBron when he's at the Lakers with some purple shoes. Go for it. Side note, side note for some people that were in the comments. People saying that I'm overpricing shoes. Um, shoes we sell don't go for retail. Some go below retail, some go way above retail. That's how these boxes work. Uh, size four and a half, Air Max 95 Crazy OG. Not crazy, I'm, I got crazy on the mind after those. Nike Air Max 95 OG, size men's four and a half, women's six. Okay, I mean, these aren't bad. Air Maxes, these are actually, infra I think these are the, excuse me, the infrareds. Uh, look to be brand new, Sunny, I don't know, can you, can you tell? They look to be, I mean, there looks like the, like some marks on the bottom, but that's just, yeah. that's just like, I wouldn't say age, because these aren't old, but that's just shit handling. Like, that could be, not on Soul Supremacy's part. Soul Supremacy's great, no. it might have been the prior owner, just didn't do a very good job, because these don't look worn at all. Yeah, I would dead say these stock. are yeah, these are definitely definitely dead stock. But this has four and a half. So, you know. Woo! I, I at this rate there's gotta be something at the bottom here. There's gotta be so and there's the rest of the boxes are Jordan boxes, so that's a plus. You see what we've gotten so far. We've got four Jordan boxes to go off of. Next up, Air Jordan 4 box, size 11. Uh, white, varsity, red, black, black. Ooh, I think I know what these are. Let's hope they're in uh, decent condition for what we've gotten so far. Okay, they are the Fire Red 4s. Uh, have been worn. Wouldn't say beaten to the ground, but at the same time, I wouldn't say VNDS by a long shot. Fire Red 4s, though, you can't complain. These things always sell regardless of condition because people love their 4s. A uh, little bit of cracking back here. It looks like all around the back of the sole. Got a scratch up here. Let's see what year this is. This is the 2012 release. So is that the most recent release? I don't even, I don't, maybe, I think so. I don't know. Actually, this is not a Jordan box. Thought it was a Jordan 11 box. It's a LeBron box. It is LeBron 11, I believe. Let's see, let's see if it's the pair I used to own. It is not the pair I used to own. <laughs> used to own the what the LeBrons, not the what the LeBrons. And this is, oh boy. I'm sorry, LeBron fans. Oh boy, shout out to them for keeping the receipt, but there is nothing on there that's readable. I really don't know. This could be like a crazy good shoe and I don't know. It's LeBron's and there's only like a handful of really good LeBron's that I know of. And those don't look like ones that are really good. So we'll see, maybe I could be totally wrong. Those look to be VNDS. I I'm just gonna go with that until I look look back later on when I'm pricing the shoes and everything. Air Jordan 7, size 11. There's the tag for you. Let's see what we got in here. Oop, all right. I've had one of these before, actually. Uh, warm, but barely. These are in great condition, though. Some of them. I would say this is someone like, this is one of like, the, I wouldn't say the more iconic sevens, but it's definitely one that people like a lot. French blue sevens. I always get nervous when I talk about the names of these shoes because I'm pretty sure I'm right, but at the same time, I could always just totally mess up and get it way off. All right, last shoe in the box, size 10. You know this box, it's, it's an Air Jordan 11. Let's see what we got in here. I think I know what we got in here, but for the sake of messing up, let's just kind of see. I'm gonna go ahead and probably say it's 72 and 10. It's a 72 and 10. <laughs> Unboxing these Jordan boxes are always fun. Size 10, also used, but not awful. One of my favorite 11s, apart from the obvious ones, like the breads and stuff, the leather on these were always, always looked amazing. I love the bread 11, the bread customs they made out of these, the dirty breads or whatever. There is a hell of big scuff right here on the front but that should come out. I hope that'll come out. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, it might be SOL. That might have dropped the price on these quite a bit. But all together, it's 590 box, so I can't sit here and complain too much. It's, you get what you pay for, and it's not a bad box at all. It's not at what we're used to, but it's also not anything to complain about. Um, I'll have to go back and see what these things are going for because this isn't another hot sauce episode, so we don't have the prices right in front of us. But if I had to guess, 
590 bucks. So I would say we got maybe three, 250, $300 in profit. Potentially, I could be way off. It'll say right here, down whatever. Thank you guys very much for watching again. Hopefully more to come. I usually buy the, we're both in college now. I mean, we both, we've, we've been in college for a couple years, but we're back in classes now. So obviously priorities. We're, this isn't our full-time job by a long shot. We just do this for fun. It's kind of a side thing to kind of showcase what I get while trying to build a community and talk to you guys. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Adios. Intro-wise. What can I do this time? Oh, hello. Is <laughs> <laughs> that the lid to a pressure cooker? Yeah, it is. <laughs> you work with what you got, sonny.